guys, Eric back here with another video. Today I'm actually going to be talking about my five tips to putting on that lean muscle uh, for those uh, guys that are actually trying to put on some size but they just can't seem to put on the size. Uh, I think that's going to be super, super helpful. So the number one thing is going to be eating more carbohydrates, okay guys? So I would recommend eating around two to three grams uh, per pound of body weight of carbohydrates. I know that's gonna be a lot of carbohydrates. Uh, most people are may not be used to eating that many carbs, but you're gonna need this many carbs in order to really put on that weight. That could be from pretty much oatmeal, sweet potatoes, uh, brown rice, white rice, bread, pasta, you know, whatever your favorite carb is, as long as you can put on that weight on. Number two is gonna be eating some more protein. So you're gonna actually have to eat around I would say at least one gram per pound of body weight. Uh, the reason being is because um, if you're trying to put on size and you're serious about it, then you need to build muscle, right? You need to gain weight. Well, you don't want to gain fat. So along with the exercise, obviously, and the carbs, you need to eat uh, some high quality protein so that when you are putting that weight, uh, it'll be healthy weight, it won't be just fat. The third thing, it's gonna be doing a resistance training exercise uh, program. So I would recommend doing heavier lifts and focus more on doing some compound movements, which means that uh, make sure that each exercise you're using multiple muscle groups like the deadlift, squat, uh, bench press, dips, uh, overhead press, etc. Uh, those are gonna be really, really good exercises uh, for building that muscle mass on your frame specifically. Uh, the fourth thing, is actually going to be uh, doing some cardio. So the reason why you need to be doing some cardio is because since you're eating more, you're gonna have more energy uh, in store to play with. So you're gonna have great pumps, you're gonna have good exercises, you know, good workouts. So you actually want to be also utilizing some cardio so that you don't get fat. So I would recommend doing at least two to three times a week of 20 to 30 minutes, uh, low to moderate intensity, no sprinting, none of that hit cardio nonsense. Uh, you know, you know, we want to be uh, preserving muscle, we don't want to be burning muscle. So you want to make sure it's low to moderate intensity. Uh, the reason why you should do cardio is because we want to be putting on some healthy weight, like I said, you don't want to be putting on a lot of fat. The last tip, tip number five, is going to be sticking to the actual program. Uh, make sure that you're have a solid program layout where you can stick to it and just being patient. That's going to be the number one thing. So be patient guys so there's something that's gonna take a while to put on I mean it, it's you know you have to trust the process it's not gonna be just you know five pounds within the first two days or anything you're gonna have to trust the process stay consistent uh, if you do all these steps eat more food eat the protein eat the carbs do the compound resistance training program do your cardio and you just uh, be patient you will see results and you will put on that side. A lot of people get frustrated because they say, oh, I eat so much, I can't put on any weight. Well, the thing is, what you may believe is enough to eat in order to gain weight is probably not enough or else you would have already gained weight. A lot of people would just say, oh, I have a really high metabolism, which it is very possible that you do. But because of that, I mean, that just means you have to eat even more because your body just burns it like this pretty quickly. So last thing, I know that I'm going to my sixth tip, but here I would say the last thing other than all the five things that I mentioned, I'd say track your progress. The way how you can track your progress is you can download an app called My Fitness Pal. Uh, that's going to be a great app for tracking your food, your water intake, your exercise, and make sure that you're on top of your game day in day out and you can actually monitor your progress as far as amps of protein carbs and faster eating so you can adjust your macros accordingly depending on you know your height age monitor your progress in the mirror see how you look and just give it time and get results if you stick with it give yourself at least you know three to four months before you give up and change anything and by that time i'm sure you'll see some some gains so anyways guys guys thanks for tuning in again this is eric uh if you enjoyed this video if you found it informative uh Feel free to subscribe. I'm gonna put out more videos like this. Uh, give it a thumbs up button. That's really gonna help the algorithm, which means it helps reach more people to just see this video. Anyways, guys, until next time, Eric signing out. Peace out.